since the beginning of time, humanity has needed to know what makes a good VR 180 video with any camera. Many years ago, a YouTuber by the name of Hugh Ho promised a solution, but he just spent ages talking about random shit instead of getting on with the video. As time goes by, he can no longer ignore his viewers requests. Today, let's learn how to create VR 180 video with any camera. 2x install to see go to like right here for macro VR 180 with short IPD distance or the Canon R5C right here, currently not supported by Canon software or the Red V Raptor. The camera I can't afford, but it should the best looking VR 180 video professionally. The best thing is, this workflow is free if you just need an AK MP4 render or ProRes LT. So put on your VR headset, turn off your Beat Saber, and let's go. Check down my new Nexico Enhanced Charging Dock and stand for my brand new Meta Quest 2 right here. Pretty good looking, right? This thing charged my Meta Quest 2 twice as fast as the regular USB C and it charged my controller too. No more AA batteries. If you are interested, check the Amazon link down below. This is not a random show of my new VR headset and its new stand. This is actually a necessary piece of equipment you will need for any VR 1D video calibration. If you shoot on the Canon R5, you can trust Canon to do it for you, but any other custom VR camera, custom camera rig, including the Canon R5C, you need to validate your duty with MetaQuest 2. So bring out your MetaQuest 2 right now. If you shoot with the Canon EOS R5C and having a tough time stitching Canon RAW LT inside DaVinci Resolve 18, this is a lot easier and faster tutorial for you. Just jump to this time code right here for Canon R5C and read the Raptor workflow directly. We are first going to cover two lens setup with the Insta to see Go 2. Stitching two Insta to see Go 2 into 3D VR 1D video. This video is so hard. Well, you take my shirt off. No, it's a hard video. Why? Right? You need to pay attention. Does it help you? Okay. If you have not already, check out my VR 180 video shot on two in star. This is go to right here. It gives you roughly 5.7K in 50 frames per second VR 170. Not fully 180 FOV just yet, but a regular viewers can not tell the differences anyway. To rig the camera is easy. I use this rail right here to mount the camera with the case. This helps me make sure both cameras are in the same height. By the way, there is two different models of install to see go to right here. One is a 31 gig and the other one is a 64 gig newer version. You don't need to use go to. If you want to up the image quality, you can go with two GoPro Hero 10 with the Max Lens Mod or two GoPro Max to get the full VR 180. As long as you have two of the same kind of camera, like two GH5 with the Antonia How 200 lens right here, this workflow will work. For GoTo, make sure the two lens are 65 millimeter apart, unless you are going for macro VR 180. Then you can break this rule and make them 30 millimeter apart. If you make the object larger than life, or you can make it 80 millimeter apart to make objects smaller than life. It is up to you and your creative choice. There is no right or wrong answer. I will take off the lens protector as well and make sure that setting of the two go-to are exactly the same. Meaning, 
menu ISO, menu shutter speed, and menu white balance. A good setting to go with is ISO 100, white balance daylight, 5000 Kelvin, and shutter speed not lower than 100. I like to shoot 50 frames per second for VR, but 30 frames per second will give you a slightly better image quality. It is up to you. Very important though, make sure you are shooting at pro video mode on the go too. This gives you a full fish eye. Hey, pro tips. The reason why we shoot with two Insta360 Go 2 is because the image quality is a lot better than the old Insta360 Evo. That is why all the professional is shooting macro VR or any VR one idea with this new setup. It is not just for consumer. Mythical Boutique the magical software we are going to use is SGO Musica Boutique, a professional editing and coloring software used by major Hollywood studios like Warner Brothers and Disney on their 3D film. How do I know? Well, I used to work there as a professional editor before I become a YouTuber. Anyway, if you need a detailed tutorial on VR editing using Mystica Boutique, I will highly recommend watching my tutorial right here. I will not cover the editing basics as I assume you know that already. Mystica Boutique Educational Edition is free as long as you are not using it for commercial purposes. So go ahead and download and install it. First is to set up your project setting. Let's talk about editing computer for a bit first. You can absolutely get the latest Mac Studio with M1 Ultra or M1 Max MacBook Pro for VR one the editing. But if you want the most powerful, long-lasting, and affordable setup, a PC laptop with NVIDIA Studio support is the way to go. I have the Razer 15-inch here with RTX 3080 Ti and Intel Gen Intel Core i9 processor. 32 gig DDR RAM and one terabyte storage. GPU is what you want to invest and 3080 Ti at the time of the recording is the best mobile GPU. It is seven times faster than the M1 Max according to Nvidia. In my testing, Razer is really fast and it is the fastest laptop I have ever used. This is not a sponsored video by Razer, by the way. And I bought this computer with my own saving. Razer just make very fast VR editing computer and is a well known in the creator industry. It is just an insider tip I want to share with you. Yes, this video is full of pro tips. So don't forget to give this video a like. And if you feel extra thankful, hit the donate button here to give me a big thank you. So. I can save up and buy more cameras and computers for you to help you save more money. Open up Mystica Config Tour, create a new preset. Call it Go2. Go to Master Formats and make sure the width and height is 5760 by 2880 5.7K. If you shoot at 30 frames per second, it is exactly 5.7K VR 180 video Go2 can produce. 50 frames per second has a little bit of stretch. Frame rate pick accordingly. Mine is 50 frames per second. Now hit OK to close your project config tour. Now open Musica Boutique, click Media, and find our footage right here. As you see here, we shot in both 30 frames per second and 50 frames per second with the Go 2. Let's drop in the 50 frames per second, link as a progressive sequence. Now drop in the right eye, stack them top and bottom as they are the same clip, just different eyes. Select them both and click Align Clips. By audio, OK. I actually already aligned them in Adobe Premiere, so they are perfectly aligned. Now go to Effects, drop in VR Stitch Effect. This is like the Premiere VR Projection Effects. Double click to go inside your VR Stitching Effects. Here, it's very similar to Musica VR, the paid version of the software. You can load a preset and everything is done for you already, as you see here, and you are ready to render. I will provide both the 30 frames per second and 50 frames per second Musica VR templates for you to download. 
You see a problem here caused by me doing filming. The two go-to actually has different color temperatures and exposure. Everyone makes mistakes, including your boy Hugh here. Luckily, you can still fix it with Mystica Boutique's magical match color in time button. It will analyze your left and right eyes and match the color temperatures and exposure using AI. Look at that. The problem is fixed. Can you believe all these advanced 3D features within a free software? Mind blown. For learning purposes, I want to show you my entire workflow for calibration. As you might use Twix GoPro Hero 10 with the Max Lens Mod, or Twix Instar to see one R one inch Leica with fisheye modification. The template I create for Go2 is not gonna work for other camera combos. So learning the manual calibration process is essential for your VR 180 professional career. Since we have two camera here, click add camera to add the second camera, expand input camera one right here and under stereo eye, Instead of auto, choose left here for camera run. Scroll down by holding right mouse button and choose right here for camera number two. Now, if you click 3D button here and choose black and white anagraph, you see 3D right here. Great. Next, we need to define your crop circle. Switch back to left eye here, turn on show one input and show overlay. Now we get left eye only. Hold down all and drag your mouse to make the yellow crop circle to follow the list like so. Click the input camera too. Look the same, right? Turn off show one input and go to VR one this side by side mode. Go to camera defaults. Here are all the settings to get you the perfect VR 180. First, change the focal length until you see the lens fill the full frame. It wouldn't fill the full frame as it is only 170 degrees-ish. So stop until you see distortion. GoPro Hero 10 with max lens mode will be even smaller FOV. Stop it around 7. Now play with the undistorted K1, K2, and K3 until you remove all facial distortion. You can just copy my setting right here for the Go2. K1 is 0.04, K2 is minor 0.043, and K3 is just 0. How do I come up with all these numbers? Well, I reviewed the stereo effects inside my Meta Quest 2 right here. That is why having a VR headset is so important. Click this VR headset icon will show you the URL. Download Devo VR and put this URL and it will show the image in your VR headset without any cable. Again, I have a full tutorial right here already to show you how this works. If you see this in VR, you realize I flipped the left and right eyes. So go back and put camera number one to change it to right and number two, change it to left. Okay, I kind of skip a couple of steps right here. Before we review inside the Meta Quest 2 right here, we should first remove all vertical parallax. Turn on black and white anagraph. Select camera number two here and turn on align mode. To easily align 3D, the trick I use is to remove horizontal disparity using horizontal balance. So dial in horizontal balance to remove horizontal disparity on me or the subject in the center of the lens. Drag up and down only on the camera number two to align me to remove vertical disparity. Pretty good. Now, change the horizontal balance again to remove disparity on the far right. And now, roll the camera number two to align the right like so. There should be no vertical disparity around the horizontal line. Now, go to the left side and do the exact same thing. Now, go back to the center, change the horizontal balance to me again, and make the final adjustment. We want the center to have perfect stereo, as viewers are watching 90% of the time at the center. Okay, now reset horizontal balance back to zero. Put on your MetaQuest 2 now to check the stereo. 
If it is not good, keep adjusting. So you need to adjust fisheye distortion with focal length and all the distortion case and align mode for the stereo disparity. Is it enough when you do this a couple of times inside the MetaQuest 2? People usually mess up is because they do not check their result inside MetaQuest 2. So don't be that lazy guy or gal. Always check your result inside VR. Now you can go back to edit view and continue your edit or you can render out this for publishing on YouTube or Meta Oculus TV. Select your in and out point with this yellow bracket. Go to output tab, hit video and gear icon here and make sure the stereo mode is stereo side by side VR 180. In output codecs, you can select MP4 and use HEVC for 28 bit bitrate. Set the bitrate to 60,000 kbps for 5.7k Go to VR 180. This setting will give you the best quality output. If you are bouncing this to Adobe Premiere for advanced further edit, use QuickTime Movie and ProRes LT. For Canon R5C footage, I would recommend to use this setting which allow you to output a full 8K in 60 frames per second for further editing inside Premiere or DaVinci Resolve. Now hit render in foreground to render out your final video. You still need to inject metadata using Google VR 180 Creator 2 or FB360 for releasing on YouTube or on Meta. Watch this tutorial again and download the necessary free software from that video. If you need ProRes 422 or HQ or EXR file, EXR sequence output, you will need the paid version of Mystica Boutique. Since Mystica VR is cheaper than Mystica Boutique, I will show you how to do that in Mystica VR instead. If you are using Canon R5C or Red V Raptor, you are probably getting paid by the clients. So I would recommend paying for SGO and getting the professional output in ProRes HQ. Canon R5C let me show you how easy to create VR 180 videos shot on the brand new Canon R5C using the free Mystica Boutiques. Then I will teach you Mystica VR using footage shot on the Red V Raptor in 8K 120fps RAW R3D file. Open up the Mystica config tool and pick the factory preset VR 8192 by 4096 and click load. Go to master format and choose video frame rate to 59.97. You always should add 8K 60 frames per second in raw LT with the Canon R5C. Please watch this tutorial if you don't know the best settings for Canon R5C. Go ahead and click OK and open up Mystica Boutique now. We are editing 8K raw media directly. So, make sure you have a pretty fast computer. My new Razer 15 with NVIDIA Studio can edit 8K RAW like breakfast. I also tested on my M1 Max MacBook Pro. It also has a pretty smooth editing experience. If you do not have a high-spec computer, I would recommend a proxy editing workflow in this original boutique tutorial. Go to media and import the Canon RAW CRM file and drag it directly on the editing timeline. As you see the monitor here, it is me on a green screen at Manhattan Beach Studios. Go to effects and drop in the VR stitch. Double click into VR stitch. I provided my Canon EOS R5C template free for you to download already. Check the link in this video description down below. Click load preset and load the templates here. Turn on VR mode and black and white anagraph. Look at that, perfect stereo. You are done, like what, three minutes? Let's test out the rendering speed. The biggest problem with my DaVinci Resolve Fusion 18 tutorial is the rendering speed. People get less than one frame per second in Canon RAW in even a very high spec computers. Go to output, Make sure stereo mode is stereo side by side. You can click target, user defined to change your output location. 
Use QuickTime MOV and ProRes LT to get the best quality output in 8K 60 frames per second without very large file. We will recommend to color grade inside Mystica Boutique before rendering. Comment below if you want to learn how to color grade Canon RAW footage with Mystica Boutique. If I get enough interest, I will make a coloring tutorial for you. Now, render it in the foreground. As you see, Mystica Boutique get a whopping 6 to 7 frame per second rendering speed. And look at your resource manager. We are only using 50% of the GPU and 50% of the CPU of our Razer 15. Yes, my Razer 3080 Ti helps a bit, but it is Mystica magic at work to handling raw media like a champ. Professional software, even the free version, outmatch all consumer editing software like Premiere or DaVinci Resolve. Red v Raptor. If you see this video, you know I shot VR 180 in 8K 120 frames per second with this 25,000 US dollar Red V Raptor for higher profile clients. Let's learn how to stitch it in Mythica VR. The magic of Mystica VR or Boutique is they can recognize raw or 3D files. If you drop the folder inside Mystica VR, Mystica know it is just one red clip and display it correctly. It's set 60 frames per second here, but it is shot at 120 frames per second. It is a two times slow motion shot in VR on Venice Beach. Right click and load the preset I provide in the download. It is done. It's ready for render as VR 180. The great thing about Mystica is the color space and color transform too. Here, you can set the input color into red log 3G10, red white gamic RGB, which is this camera shot at. Then output color space into BT709, red 709, you get a log color conversion right here. If you want to keep all the 16 stop dynamic range, change it back to log 3G10, look at that. The sun is bad. Wow. Mystica does not throw away any information and keep what you capture 100%. If you render out ProRes 4444, all the information is still there for future color grading in a professional pipeline. I'm just showing you the tip of the iceberg. If you want to learn about Mystica Hollywood level ACES workflow, comment below and let me know. From here, you can render. I use QuickTime ProRes ProRes 4444 and stereo left and right VR 180. Audio in movie and render. Mystica also allow batch render with a render farm. Thank you for watching this very in-depth tutorial. I know it is a lot to take in, but it's also very powerful. Now you can use any camera to create your dream VR 180 rig. We did spend lots of time and money to make this community most requested tutorial. It will be greatly appreciated if you could like and share this video. If you feel like extra thankful and appreciative, click the super thank icon right there and buy your boy a cup of coffee or steak dinner. Woohoo! If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. More VR 180 or 360 editing tutorial are coming and I will see you next time.